Jesus explains the strange fourth beast of Daniel 7.7. 7. Narrated by Daniel After this I saw in the night visions, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly, and it had great iron teeth. It devoured and brake in pieces, and stamped the residue with the feet of it. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it. And it had ten horns. What does the strange fourth beast of Daniel 7.7 7 represent? And why is it so important to end time prophecy? And how is it dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly? And what does it mean that it break in pieces and stamp the residue with the feet of it? And how is it diverse from the beasts that were before it? And what do the ten horns represent? Do the ten horns somehow represent a revived Rome in Europe, perhaps the EU? Or do the ten horns somehow have something to do with the Vatican? Perhaps the Ten Horns represent an alliance of Islamic nations, the Sunnis and the Shiites. Or do they simply represent the Ten Kings of the predicted New World Order? What does my word say? Does my word offer its own interpretation? Yes, it does. Allow me to explain. And remember... My word refers to empires as kingdoms and to emperors and leaders as kings. After this I saw in the night visions and behold a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly, and it had great iron teeth. It devoured and brake in pieces and stamped the residue with the feet of it and it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns. Rome was this fourth beast, and more. After the fall of Rome, represented by the iron teeth, smaller kingdoms emerged out of the old Roman kingdom. England, Spain, Portugal, Germany, France, and the Dutch these all went out and, by strong and exceeding force, devoured and break in pieces the whole earth and stamped the residue of Roman culture wherever they stepped through colonization. This is how the beast was diverse from the others before it. And the ten horns represent the ten kings who shall govern the new world order. Therefore, this fourth beast extends from Rome through to the New World Order. The vision is true, and the interpretation thereof, sure. In the last days, in the time of the end, the ten kings who shall rule the New World Order shall arise out of the kingdom of the whole earth. Let me explain. Daniel chapter 7, 23 and 24 says, Thus he said, The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms, and shall devour the whole earth, and shall tread it down and break it in pieces. And the ten horns out of this kingdom are ten kings that shall arise, and another shall arise after them, and he shall be diverse from the first, and he shall subdue three kings. Rome was the fourth beast that morphs into the global kingdom of the new world order. After the fall of Rome, represented by the iron teeth, smaller kingdoms emerged out of the region of the old Roman kingdom. England, Spain, Portugal, Germany, France, and the Dutch. 
These all went out and by strong and exceeding force devoured and break in pieces the whole earth and stamped the residue of Roman culture wherever they stepped through colonization. In the last days, in the time of the end, my word says that the ten kings shall arise out of the whole earth to rule the new world order. And then comes the Antichrist. Now let's further consider the horns on the strange beast. I considered the horns and, behold, there came up among them another little horn before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. And behold, in this horn were the eyes like the eyes of man, and a mouth speaking great things. These horns represent the ten kings who shall rule the new world order. The little horn is the Antichrist, who shall arise after the ten kings of the new world order are in power. The Antichrist shall subdue three of the ten kings until all ten agree to give their allegiance to him as the supreme leader of the new world order. He shall then give all ten power to rule as kings with him. The features on the little horn personify it as the Antichrist who shall speak against God. Many have offered their interpretation concerning the fourth beast of Daniel 7.7. 7. However, in the light of my word, in the light of the key words, the whole earth, it can be understood that the fulfillment of this prophecy extends beyond the boundaries of Europe beyond the influence of the papacy and beyond the global goals of Islam. Taking all things into consideration, the fourth beast of Daniel 7.7 7 can only represent a collective of Rome and the whole world as it is today and also the ten kings of the new world order. Therefore, the conclusion of the matter is that the fourth beast represents Rome, which after morphed into today's global kingdom through colonization, which shall further morph into the new world order.